now we'll show you how to plan the lighting for composing in Satellite 3D. Let's talk about one of the main questions of building a composing. How to set up the lighting setup in the studio in order to have it fit to the lighting atmosphere of the background. The light guidance should or has to fit to the background. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to present a credible or believable composing and the person in the picture would look like it was just pasted in. Before you start, you should think about how your result is supposed to look like. Where is the model going to be positioned and what do you want to express? But there's so much more to it, like choosing the right perspective, the right zoom and so on. That's important as well. But we'll not focus on that now and instead look at the general procedure. Start by placing the picture wall in the studio and load up your image for the composing. You can change the picture wall here in the settings and make it fit to your needs. For the picture to look like the composing later, take it out of the light simulation and change the brightness. Now, the picture wall doesn't react to the flash anymore and no shadows will be visible on it either. You're good to go. You don't have any influence on it through your lighting anymore. Now, position your model in front of the picture. Well. Here comes an important step. Look at the background closely and analyze the lighting. That's actually great for practicing and training your eyes in order to faster understand the general lighting situation of the images. Let's start with building your setup. And the question is, how does it have to be set up? Well, it should match the atmosphere of the background. They should harmonize with each other. That's the point where you'd have to move around all the heavy lighting gear in real life. That's why you have Satellite 3D. It's super easy to try out all of the lighting and it's fun too. We'd rather choose a big light shaper here because the sky is already diffuse and the light gets scattered. On the left side we should brighten up things a little bit. The light of the sun spreads over the clouds pretty far. We need some creativity for the main light. With this choice, you're going to decide over the biggest impact on the image. More natural or artificial? Well, find your own style here by just trying lots of things out in Satellite 3D. When you found your light, hide the picture wall again and supplement your lighting. You might want to do this because you need to crop the person out later. And well, that's it. Start shooting. We invite you guys to experiment around and create your own great composings. Have fun!